you were designed. Not this modern industrialized living that we've been doing in the last fraction of a millisecond in the total existence of the human race. We've changed our lifestyle so much, modern man has, but our genetics and our physiology has lagged behind. We are supposed to use fasting and feasting as part of our normal program, as our normal physiology. That's why we still have it. That is why after 12 hours, you start making some more ketones in your body. And the ketones come from fat. Ah, ketones. Ketones are an energy molecule produced by the liver. How does it make it? It makes it from fat. So the fat gets liberalized. And by the way, the fats only start moving when your insulin levels are down. So because of fasting, your insulin levels are really low now. Okay, So you get free fatty acids. The free fatty acids float into the bloodstream. They go to your liver. Your liver converts those into ketones. Now, ketones are an energy source of the body, an alternative source to glucose, actually a cleaner fuel for the body. And in terms of producing reactive oxygen species in the metabolism, the way your mitochondria work, you actually produce less reactive oxygen species, which is damaging to your physiology when you're in ketones. And ketones are signaling molecules that also change your physiology in a number of ways. Number one, it causes the production of brain-derived neurotropic factor that occurs under ketogenesis. Brain-derived neurotropic factor, which means that you become smarter, you're growing new cells, your reflexes are better, your visual acuity is better. Why? Because nature wants you to become a better specimen so you can go out and get your next kill.